Well, what we're, what we're trying to do with the Working Wetlands Project is approach water management uh, in, a, in a slightly different way. We're trying to, trying to promote the benefits of wetland habitats like this Colm grassland here um, and the role that they play in gradually releasing water throughout dry periods of the year and also um, cleaning that water as it runs off the farm and into reservoirs like this one. The Trust were given the brief to try and improve the water quality uh, through a measure of advice and grant opportunities to farmers within the Tamar catchment. To go out to farmers, uh, do them a farm plan, assess where the risks to water quality is and then offer grants to try and reduce that risk. When we bought the farm, uh, our land runs like the beach straight into the reservoir. I was very conscious of water quality and conscious that we didn't want to farm, we wanted to farm in as, as natural a way as we possibly could and also in tune with the environment. We're working here with Simon to look at how different parts of the farm can be used to store water and then gradually release that water. And so for example we've got a, a very steep sided slope, we've restored that, uh, the, the, the grassland habitats on that slope so that's now managed as a, a low input grassland with a, as a wildflower meadow and Simon gets a good quality hay cut off that. So that benefits the water that's coming off the farm and into the reservoir. It's benefiting Simon and it's also benefiting wildlife. The, the ditch there that's running down to the pond here, that's a ditch that runs from the, what we'll call an improved farmland where we're farming more intensively at the higher side of the farm. The water's running down now into the pond where you're getting settlement sediment and the phosphates settle out into the water. So that's desperately important. Also, you can see the tyre track there where we've had to harvest during the wet summer. That was erosion, you'd have silt runoff, which would run straight into the watercourse into the reservoir in previous years. Now that silt runoff is running into the pond, settling before the water then runs into the watercourse. OK, so what, one of the things that we're looking at here is the, the um, Colm Grassland County Wildlife Site, where we've funded work to remove the scrub and restore this grassland habitat and created a number of settlement ponds so that the runoff from the farm comes through these ponds and then spills out into this, uh, into this wetland habitat. From a commercial perspective, with cross-compliance, and cross-compliance is rules and regulations that a farmer needs to comply to for a single farm payment, stop of nutrient runoff off of the land, um, water quality, are all things that farmers should be doing for cross-compliance. Quite apart from water, wildlife, all these things are desperately important. For the farmer from a commercial point of view, there's a very good reason to be doing all the things that we're doing here. Primarily we're working to try and get landowners into high-level stewardship or entry-level stewardship so that they're getting an income for managing the land in a, in a less intensive way. I think it's very important that water companies are involved with projects like this we're doing on the farm because ultimately it's going to affect the customer, the person paying for their water, hopefully the water bills will be lowered, the water quality will, will be much improved and also the wildlife, it will, it will all link together and I think improve the environment for, for people in general. Water treatment costs will continue to go up, be that electricity just to use the plants or manpower and this scheme is in our view a way of reducing those costs in the future. So. The, the expected or the likely increase of water bills in the future will be greatly reduced because of this. By dealing with the land use above the reservoirs and, and upstream of these watercourses, then the water that's coming into those reservoirs and coming into those treatment works is cleaner and so it costs less for Southwest Water to treat that water. And if you can show that you're really benefiting uh, the customers of Southwest Water and the, and the water quality and the reservoirs, then you're also in turn uh, able to protect the wildlife in the, long, in the long run as well.